It's currently estimated that over 1 billion people suffer from mental health and substance use disorders worldwide. We're in the global mental health care crisis and the traditional institutional models of care are simply not working. But a new paradigm in healing is emerging. It's controversial, it's game-changing, and it's working. Doctors from the West are to use psychedelic drugs to try and help people with long-term depression. They had this long history of depression, they were pretty hopeless that anything would ever change it. Then they had a day of a high dose of psilocybin, and then they felt better. There's no single drug treatment to treat PTSD. We treat the disorder symptomatically, but they're not getting to the root cause. What MDMA does is it has this amazing capacity to inhibit the fear response. So you can talk about the pain and the trauma and not be overwhelmed by it. These compounds can help one untangle and expose the trauma at the base of it. It allows you to explore you and things specific to you. These experiences provide a, a unique sense of perspective and a possibility of change. People feel fundamentally loved, fundamentally good. A personal goal of mine is to work towards decriminalizing psilocybin mushrooms in North America and Europe by 2025. What stands in the way of psychedelic substances being legitimized by society? America's public enemy number one is drug abuse. It is necessary to wage all-out offensive. We are about to take you into the world of the LSD user. A world that to him is real, yet as terrifying and unreal as anything ever imagined. Stigma. If public perception shifts, governments will be under pressure to eliminate outdated drug laws, change policy and support research and development initiatives, making access widely available to all. Our documentary aims to shift the public perception of psychedelic substances by showcasing current research, traditional practice, and the harms of war on drugs. Psychedelics were very, very helpful in helping me deal with depression. We hope that our film will highlight the need to make these substances and this form of therapy regulated and accessible to people who need it the most. Psychedelics helped me so much to overcome my own depression but I had to do it on my own without much guidance and I had to attend unregulated retreats and it took me a long time. It could be so much quicker if I was in a clinical setting with a trained therapist who could guide me through this process. And I hope that anyone who needs the support can get it one day legally and safely. For the past two years, we've been following the developments of the psychedelic renaissance. We have completed 80% of our production. However, we still need an additional 40,000 pounds to travel to the US, Canada, and other locations around the world. These funds will also contribute to the post-production, namely editing, animation, and sound production. We believe that crowdfunding is a really beautiful way to give power back to people and encourage everyone to co-create this documentary with us. If you share our vision, please consider supporting us by making a donation. Every contribution would help us go a long way.